everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another playthrough of Layers of Fear. So, in the last uh, two episodes, we managed to get these uh, items here. The bloody canvas and the bloody jar. Everything is bloody in this game, apparently. Um, and we managed to get our painting um, a little bit more progressed. So, I guess now it's time to head back out again. Form emerges. Okay. I'm ready. Alright, this is, uh, well, this looks not good, man. Oh, what's this? Why isn't the space bar? Okay. Rodent seeds. I see the dirt move. Rotten soil. Nothing else grows. Alright, this looks a little bit uh, out of place here. Okay. Ah, what do we have here? About a boy who wakes up in a cave. He finds a mysterious note and a gun. He then journeys through various environments, woods, fields, rivers. Eventually, he winds up at a small cabin, where it turns out this has all been a product of his subconscious, brought upon him by a traumatic childhood memory killed the guy who had murdered his father. In the real world, he's been drooling in a loony bin this whole time. Get it? The twist is sort of gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you story about it for me? If you're interested, I'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think you should take this job. It pays well and would take your mind off of, well, you know, everything else. Please, let me know as soon as possible. Thomas Caldwell. This is the friend slash manager, right? Editor, someone like that, I don't know. Hmm. So, it's, uh, it was hinted, right, that this is all in our mind. What the fuck is this? Did you see that? Oh my fuck! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I didn't expect that, man. Really, I, di I didn't expect that. <laughs> I mean, I expect something like this happen happens here, right? When you open a door or whatever. Haunting mim mimics. Knock, knock, knock. Not gonna let them in. Only clothes left behind. Find those clues, man. Music stopped again. What is this creator's block? So he had some kind of a of a blockade, okay. Happens, happens to the best of us. Uh, yeah, nice blockade. All right, I get it. Playing this game, um, just made me realize how similar Observer is to this game. I mean, Observer obviously it has this whole different story and. It um, has has this uh, this Blade Runner runner feeling, right? Um, also with Rutger Hauer staring in it, but it has like the the more or less the same premise. And this looks nice, dude. And hate dolls. Okay, we got a key, probably for this door. Is there even? Why can't I... Oh, of course. I didn't know this this game was um, was the best indie game in 2016. Definitely imagine why. So this is the 9th, right? 9th of June. 
Wasn't there the wedding? Don't forget the wedding day on 9th of June. Yeah, I think it was the wedding date. Not, not really sure about that. Okay. Imagine playing this game in VR here. Yeah? Alright, what is this? September 15th. More notes today, even worse than before. The sad part is, I agree with every word. Yeah, you have to let me know if this uh, is maybe a little bit too, too dark on YouTube. Always uh, a little bit iffy with those horror adventures here. Uh, can I not read this? This looks like you can read it. Apparently not. Okay, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Hmm. Just tells you how, how much you can do with a game. With so... With such, such a minimalistic... Um environment I'm not really sure where to go ignorance blind fools pretense hmm this doesn't look nice at all this is supposed to be the, the window You ordered a true portrait, so that's where I painted, you fucking pleb. <laughs> Maybe I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face! Okay, we saw this, uh, these glasses earlier. Well, but this is not the, the, the quest object, I want to say. What's this? Br Br Bryce? R right. And this game isn't isn't very long, so it's like four hours, maybe three to four hours, depending on your playstyle. I'm already one and a half hour in, so. Alright, what do we have here? Anything useful? You can turn on the lights, I guess. Can't I just... No. As I was uh, browsing through the controls, I saw that there is a button for flashlight, so... We're definitely getting a flashlight. Noise, man. Stop it. Dear sir, if I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expresses, expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be physiological but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that was what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all of your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. It's fucking annoying ring, man! Stop this fucking bullshit, man.
Yeah, but I don't think we can we can die in this game. So this is a relief. Uh, wait, what? Am I going in circles here? So so I have to trigger something probably. Okay. Can I not? Can I not pick this up? Why can't I uh, pick this uh, pick this up? Alright, I'm fucking lost, man. Um, I really don't know what to do. What did I miss something? Maybe. So I cannot answer this telephone or what? what why? It is ringing, right? But there is nothing here. But let me check. Check again. I mean, there's nothing here except I can open this one here. There's a letter, and then it's. So this falls, comes back up. What if I'm going the other way around? This was definitely the right move. Not really sure if I again should change my way. Yes, I. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Speak. Yes. What? What fire? Oh God. Is she? Which hospital? I'm on my way. Yeah. So, his wife or my wife rather. Um, she was trapped by fire. Not good. Okay, um... Which is the way to go then? Restless memories. Okay. See, this year I expected, more or less, like when you open a door that there's something behind it. You have to do better game. To do fucking better. Nothing here. Flapping horror. Be quiet. Constantly flapping. Eating other rats. So maybe we we became like insane after our wife died or so. I'm not sure. Because there was talk about schizophrenia. This may be the case. I'm on it. I'm on it. Put the fossey on it. I read through some Steam reviews that uh, that was saying that this game is not not no uh, not atmospheric. So I cannot understand them, man. This game is absolutely atmospheric. Okay. So let's cannot close this before I. No. Mm. Not really sure where to go. A little bit strange here. So this is not the way to go, right? Okay. Yeah, the atmosphere in this great uh, game is great. Uh, 
abandon hope while you can. Doesn't make sense. In any case, as your lawyer, lawyer I advise you to re refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appear the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use it to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning, a momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your doll. Doll? Daughter? Daughter. Yeah, sure, there is a... What about the daughter, man? Uh, like the creaking sound is very good. Oh, let me just check it real quick here. Uh, I can move that. This is probably locked. No, it's not. Looks a little bit like the bathroom before. Silent floaters, they clog the drains. Burr in the water, no baths for me. Do have to do something here. Pretty sure. Okay, probably need a key around here. It's also locked. Everything's locked, man. What? What the fuck? So there's definitely, you see here, you can see that there's, I think it's meant to be that there's light coming out of the, this room here. Pretty sure though. Okay. Yeah, sure. Whoa. Okay, this is, uh, awkward. Okay, it's very dark here, man. Very fucking dark. So we're in the cellar again. Hmm. Man, if you're playing this game with, with earphones here, with with, uh, with headphones or rather, this this bass here, absolutely killing me right now, but in a good way. <laughs> That's really well done. Okay. Everything floats. <laughs> Don't you want to float too? Yeah, okay, probably need to head back upstairs. I don't know. A long time since we found a a bigger object. Okay, come on, man! You just make me. 
walk here. So, what is the deal here? I mean... Okay. Ah, I can just walk through them. Fucking god. Um... Yeah, just checking if there is anything like this. Dangling grad, patient, thirsty, furry leeches, afraid to look up. Afraid to look up? Thanks. So what is this even? Like some plants? I don't know. Man, this game is dark even, even when I'm playing it here. Holy fuck. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Okay, we got it. Our third objective. So usually it takes me like 20 to 30 minutes to find some objectives, go back. This is a good, uh... A good episode length. Pretty good for me. <laughs> Yay! We're here. We are here! This was, ah oh yeah, this was this, and... Nothing here. Yeah. So what could this be in the, I mean, this looks like uh, some kind of Figure, right? These are the legs here. Something. Not really sure though. Lost, alone, hopeless, you always will be. A grotesque misunderstanding. Finish it. And here is it. So three things are still missing. <laughs> <laughs> 